academics, you know, um, video that he did on Meek Mill. And it was some great points that we wanted to uh, break down today. Also, Jay Prince, Jay Prince came out and responded to NBA Youngboy. More than anything, it's funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we're definitely going to um, jump in that. I think we should probably just start, you know, right there. So the other day, Sam, yeah. man, you was telling me about the story that NBA Youngboy, somebody pretty much, they ran into his garage or his crib, ransacked his house, took a few things. One of the things was a Bentley key, if mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken. So um, that gets taken. And then I think a day or two later, Jay Prince pops up on the internet and says that, you know, um, he recovered it for him. Almost like somebody said they got their chain back. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, and being a young boy, he ain't like this shit. Nah, not at all. I'm going to play his response real quick. I don't want no friends. I don't want no new relationships. All that pussy shit. Hey, I don't respect none of that shit, man. If you got something for me, man, they got plenty of niggas around me you could call. It's plenty, it's plenty ways you can get in touch with me. Man, don't get on no internet and do nothing publicly. Don't do nothing dealing with, with no fucking publicity. None of that pussy and shit. And I'm good on no, I'm good on no keys, gangster. When you buy shit cash, two two keys come with the car anyway. Mind your fucking business, man. Let me talk about time for weeks. But you're a dumb boy with limited thinking ability. And That's Jay Prince, my bad. <laughs> now you got talking slick. I was in response to NBA young boy again. He went on the rant, yeah. pretty much told uh, Jay Prince, mind his effing business and whatnot. That the OG, you know, he came harder than I thought. Pause in that because you know the, the caption is not saying they went in that hard. We definitely went in about that. Really, you know, obviously giving him a little stern warning, but keeping it one hundred percent real with NBA young boy. Like yo, you too, you know, um, you know, just too dumb for your own good mm-hmm. in his own words. But what do you think, Sam? Man? About Jay Prince laying a smackdown on NBA Young Boy. Um, we've all uh, what was this? this last year when it was the uh, the chain from Almighty Jay when yeah. he came out. He came out on the internet, kind of question why he came out on the internet because he is such a respected individual, somebody that obviously is taken seriously and does things very off grid. You know, um, you know what I'm saying. So, but we weren't expecting him to come out there and do things on the internet. But this is something that Jay Prince is now doing, and it sounded like. The way he said it, he meant every goddamn word, and I believe him now. Mm-hmm. We've said this about NBA Young Boy, a great talent. That brother does numbers. He has a great following, but it seems like he carries this very negative energy around him that doesn't want to hear anything that's given to him. And we know people like that, and the path that that goes down often isn't good. Not saying that to get his brother any negative energy, but we talk about it. We want to see him do better, and for some reason or another, he just keeps that stigma about him now. Somebody came in your shit. Somebody compromised your your your, your compound. If you could have had your kids in there, could have had your family in there, somebody could have really got hurt. Mm-hmm. And if that's your place and you the commander, then you got to trickle down and let your people know this shit cannot go down. Now, should Jay Prince have gone on the internet and let people know he got your umbrella and all that stuff back? Debatable. But the fact is he did. So you to go back and start <laughs> screaming and hollering at him. I can't get mad at anybody for responding the way they did. He sounded like he meant every word. Well, I mean, like you said it before, though, Sam, you say, how come 
you know, when I think you criticize T.I. and other people for doing this shit on the internet as opposed to hitting them up. Mm-hmm. That's what NBA Young was talking about. He was like, you know what I'm saying? How can you just hit me up? Mm-hmm. Now, I don't agree with him like the, in the manner that he did it. He came off at the OG all wrong, but for him to jump on the internet, it got to be something to that. Like, damn, like why don't you just hit me up? That's what NBA Young was saying. You, you know, this person that knows me, you could have hit me up behind the scenes. It's almost mm-hmm. like he was playing them in a little bit. And um, I don't think he was, but NBA Young Boys taking it that way. And I think that's the reason um, for the response. Why go on the internet and do it for Bentley Key and some, you know. Umbrellas and yeah, yeah, yeah. dollars. I, you know, maybe, I mean, maybe Jay Prince is, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But that was the critic. I think um, Peter Guns. It was the same type of situation he was saying um, about Jay Prince. Like, you know, they was trying to get in touch with him, but he went on the Internet and things like that. So, yeah, man, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't. I would never get the Internet thing with somebody so respected as Jay Prince. I don't know think yeah, he would yeah. need it, but this is the way he's doing it now. Yeah. So, hey, maybe this is the only way he feels as though he can get through to the young boys. It was a young boy situation last year when he was on the Internet. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes that we don't know that's not on the internet you know what i'm saying and maybe it's some young boy shit no pun intended that he gets on the internet with i don't know yeah i mean you know he's still you know he gotta find a better way you know i mean i think to um to do it because it's gonna lead to us talking people like this talking and blowing it up way bigger than it really is when he could have just said behind the scenes yo i found it for you but maybe i guess like i mean i could agree though with what you're saying as far as like him you know what i'm saying thinking this is the way now to do it nowadays. Everybody's doing it, so let me jump on there. But nah, OG, you know, I just think it takes away from that, um, you know, mystique that we say about people, you know, just stay, you know, behind the scenes and, you know what I mean, do your thing. And now it's like, let's talk about the, res- the disrespect factor or the lack of respect mm-hmm. that these younger cats have for somebody like a Jay Prince. We've seen this other clown they want to take it up the doo-doo, the doo-doo shoot, you mm-hmm. know, come at Jay Prince. You know what I mean? Then he he, he backed up like a pussy, mm-hmm. but came back with a these like a pussy the next day, you know what I mean? And was apologizing. But these youngsters don't have any respect for these elders. How you feel about that? It's day in a dip, it's a different generation. We seen them out there riding different and protest, different. The lack of respect is fucking different yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? Because it was certain levels that we wouldn't go with with our grandparents, certain things we wouldn't do around our elders, certain things we still wouldn't do around our elders. And certain, certain and some some of these young cats, excuse me, don't give a fuck. And right. there were people in the street that wouldn't do things to elders and grandmas and things like that. I look at NBA young boys' eyes and I can genuinely see a kid that does not give a fuck about what you've done, who you've done it with, what kind of respect you got. Fuck you. And that's a dangerous recipe. And he ain't the only one. It's just a day and age we live in, man. And then I remember yesterday we was talking to Goods and he was talking about, like, people say, why are people so big on the snitch thing? Like you said, there's certain things you just ain't do. Mm-hmm. And that one of those things of snitching on somebody you was doing a crime with. Another thing is, you know, um, if a dude or somebody's with their family, you ain't go air them out. Yeah. You know, you ain't cuss people. You know, it was certain things I was like, all right, you know what? That might be my enemy, but he's with his family now. I ain't gonna go spray this dude up or beat him up. Or, you know what I mean? It was a certain thing. So, you know, again, a whole new day and age. They lack respect for authority. Some people say it's justified. You know, um, NBA Young Boy is one of those um, special people where it's just like you can see it all in his eyes. Like it's just like straight up from the gutter, going through some things. Fuck you. Mm, period. Yeah, it's straight like that. And you know, I just hope that it don't lead him on a downward spiral. Some I hope that one day he can, because um, a lot of time it clicks on for guys and I say, you know what. Let me do it a different way. Hopefully, yeah. he gets that before it's too late. Because now it's hot in Houston. It's hot in Texas. That's what Jay Prince was alluding to. Now it's like, shit, hopefully, yeah. shit goes good in Texas. Texas right? is Next my team. business. He said, it is my business. <laughs> God dang. Yeah, so, man, oh, man, that, that kind of is what it is, man. But, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. What can you say about it, man? That's Texas business. We got yeah. a lot of fans out in Texas. Got a lot of love in Texas. But we are motherfucking in New Jersey. It's Texas business. It's like about Philly business and your boy Meek. Man, all right. So you were telling me, and I was seeing obviously on social media and stuff, Meek Mill and academics going at one another a little bit more so academics. Now, I think it started with um, Meek Mill, uh, academics, excuse me, dropping a quote on Meek Mill that he had on Power 99 about um, bigging up the blogs, you know what I mean? Bigging up mm-hmm. the little people and things like that. Meek Mill said, don't put me on here. Yeah. Me academics respond by what I checked it out. Like I, 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 for some reason, I, I wanted to click on the video, you know, and just listen to it because I can remember them two academics and um, Meek Mill having like disputes in the past where 
posts and they told him to stop posting stuff that he wanted him to stop start according to him i don't know you know dream chaser side of the story but um what i jumped to like towards the tail end of the video and i and i agree with academics even though you know i don't really agree with them anything else is that these rappers and not particular meek mill but including meek mill they talk about all these other blogs that they don't want to deal with and what they do but they don't support the blogs that they rock with. We ain't saying it gotta be us or this person, but go on the blogs and support them. And that's what he was saying about like six nine. Like you can say whatever you want.